Guys, check this spot out. So it's got this like dip down in here with a plant boss in the middle. And you got this little tiny grate thing you gotta pop over, but it's actually a pretty sick manual pad. The catch is you have to go through this gate. And also the runway is pretty sketchy. You gotta start like right here and then sorta, of, here, let me show you. So you have to like throw down right here and then sorta of ollie sideways to get on this thing. I'm gonna try to get something on it. Maybe just like a nose manual. I don't know, we'll figure it out. And luckily we do have the sliders on, so a little bit of this crust isn't gonna hurt as bad. I do need to kind of warm up though. I haven't actually skated at all in the last couple days. So do a couple little kickflips on flat or something to try to get stretched out and warmed up. And then uh, we'll try to get something on this. It's a pretty sick spot though. I think that's probably the best warm up I'm gonna get. Just a couple of like basically stationary kickflips. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump on this thing. Why not? So this place is like an abandoned hospital. I guess like the other side of this plaza has turned into a business now, but this whole area is pretty much abandoned. So it's kind of spooky. All right, so this is our starting point. And we got that much room to throw down. I think we could do it though. These things right here kind of get in your head a little bit of a mental thing because like I said you got to come basically right past it so don't want to clip on that That felt pretty good, man. Now, obviously just a manual and a nose manual isn't anything to write home about, but this is more about the spot, not the trick. Yeah, cause that thing over there, I'm telling you guys, those little like nubs sticking out, the little hinges really gets in your head. And whoever took this door off, pretty awesome. I mean, it looks like those are almost the same size as a skate tool, but I don't know who could have done that. Anyways, it still gets in your head because these little things up here are like right next to your face, it feels like, or you feel like you're gonna hit your ass on this since I'm regular, so. And then you gotta like gap out or ollie going down a thing, so not easy, but pretty sick spot. So let's try to figure out how else we can get creative here while we still have some daylight. I wonder if we could do something going up. We do have the sliders on, so we might be able to handle this ground. Last time I came here, I was not thinking that way, but let's see what we could do. It's kind of weird up there. Like, there's like limited space. It's kind of crusty, so wah. Whack. Oh my god. This, this plant got in my head. That's not the only one. All right, we're gonna live with that one. Holy crap. This spot's actually really sick, but I'm, I'm kind of over it. And the sun is 
pretty much leave in the sky. So we were so close to having a dry Saturday. I was actually on my way to a new spot a homie told me about, and then like the raindrops started hitting the windshield. So we're back at the parking garage curb. Just gonna have a cool little session and I mean, enjoy a Saturday. These ended up actually becoming like my favorite shoes, not only just to wear, but to actually skate in. And uh, if you guys remember a while back, I did a video on them and kind of gave them like a poor review for skating because the insoles are so floppy and just there's no protection at all. But since switching to some aftermarket insoles, these have become like my favorite skate shoes too. So I might have to revisit these things just because uh, I feel like the review I gave them wasn't really fair. It was like the first day out of the box and they really do loosen up. So that's neither here nor there. Anyways, let's get a session going. I can always pop better nollie out of back 50s when I nollie into it as opposed to when I just like ollie into it. That's, I have no idea what that is. The minutia of skateboarding. something I've only done once before half cab into 50 oh man everything just sounds so much easier in your head you know when you're like I'll go to the curb spot and try this and you get there and it's just fucking daunting okay I just gotta adjust my aim I guess oh fuck that's scary dude what am I doing I fucking <laughs> forgot what trick I'm trying oh shit why is that so scary? Like, logistically, it should just be pretty simple. Oh my god! Oh my god! It really feels like you're just gonna like keep rotating and then like swoop out. So, I honestly feel like half cab 50 50 on a like a handrail or any kind of rail is probably one of the more like gnarly tricks you could do. Oh, <laughs> oh so close! Oh, that's the movement, but it ain't the make. Oh my god. See what I'm saying? It feels like I'm gonna like over rotate or something and just get all caught up in my own legs. Oh, so that was almost it. Oh, that would have been, that was like in my head how I wanted to do it. You were so close. We're getting there. Why, man? Why? I'll take it. It's just such like a, such like a weird, awkward trick. Like my foot's like over here, and I'm just winding up, and it's just this fucking faith jump. I love skating this little spot, dude. This is like my little, my little dojo. I realize it's probably not always that entertaining, but I mean, it's, you know, it's raining like this outside everywhere. It's like, where, what else are you gonna do, you know? I'm not gonna like go to the skate park and battle for turns between, you know, scooter kids and people that are fucking skating a lot faster than I do. I've been trying to get out to go to the Bay Area. I've been wanting to make a little mission down there and uh, film a video, but timing's been tough. And also it's raining on and off this time of year. So it's just kind of hard to predict. And you know, I'm not gonna drive an hour and a half to get down there and go skate essentially one of these. Oh, look at this guy. Hey, he was listening. Hope the video inspired you guys to get out and go skate. Again, I'll be giving you guys updates on the 93s. They're holding in really good. Like they made that hospital spot way more skatable than it was the first time I went there. So yeah, stay tuned. Give you guys any updates, uh, see how they do over the life of the wheel. And uh, I might even throw the radials on soon when I set up a new board because I'm kind of, it's a one wheel shape from Spitfire I haven't really tried. All right, y'all, that is going to do it. I will see you on the next one. Peace.